Okay, welcome back to Salt and Sanctuary, Bloody Meow, and we just made it to the Watching Woods Shrine, and we have joined our true creed, which is the Stone Roots, and what we have here is a stone leader, and what that does is makes the leader of the creed appear, and here, not only does it give you a better, more salt gain from every enemy in the area, which is cool, I like how these people have, like, bonuses, so the alchemist gives you a magic defense bonus. So if you look, the magic defense is slightly boosted up, like arcane defense and stuff. It's just boosted up magically, so it's nice. Um, and item find is when you have a stone guide here. So the drop rate increased more when I'm in this place. And if you look down in the bottom corner, right beside my salt meter, you see those three icons? That shows what passive bonuses are currently happening in the area. So I really like the in-depth there that's not really truly visible and not very transparent at first glance. So let's talk to the stone leader. And let's do, um, let's do some work. So work is basically just turning in remains from many different enemies. And they get more rare as you go higher, but you get really great passive rewards when you rest at a shrine that you are devoted to. So apparently, Drowned Bandit will be able to get Feral Beast or those dogs in the Village of Smiles, and Court Sorcerer we don't know, Split Sword we never met, and a Cave Keeper we never met. It's actually pretty easy. But we got Rotten Walker, which is the first enemy in the game. We have three of the ears, so there we go. And now you can pick from now on, you get this item as an extra passive, so you can get an extra healing item permanently when you rest at this, your devoted shrine. Bluegrass is mana, we'll never use. Mossy Pest Mud is a poison buff. And Wraith Fang are really poisonous daggers. I think that's going to be nice to have in our arsenal. So let's get some Wraith Fangs. A lot of bosses in this game can be poisoned, and that's kind of nice. So we're going to go ahead and permanently have a... Oh, we don't want the Earthen Vessel anymore. Get that out of there. Instead, we have the stone, stone Acorn, which we use to take over other shrines. So there's our Wraith Fang. And... Wait, where is the Wraith Fang? Oh, I got to rest again. Okay, so you get Wraith Thing. Here we go. Okay, and Chiseled Stone Throwing Blade Coated in Potent Pest Mud. It is a signature weapon of Woods Wraith. So you must have a throwing pest mud instead of a buffing one. It makes more sense. Okay, and plus we can um, level up again. So I like this. It's very smooth, very flowing. You know, that's what I, I like games that do this. It's very well paced. There is some complaints, but here's something that that is gonna maybe surprise you, and it should. Ska Studios, the people that made this game, guess how many people make up Ska Studios? Two people. One of them being the majority of the coding and all of the aspect, the other one being the art design and the PR and the marketing, which is also very important. Uh, that's pretty fucking impressive, plus two cats. They count as a team, too. Uh, that's pretty fucking impressive. I don't care who you are. If you don't this, if so, don't... So I hate when people are ignorant and be like, the devs need to fix this broken. I mean, it's one, it's basically one person doing the coding aspect of things when, and the other one doing art and PR. So don't be such a fucking dick. <laughs> All right, so let's get some... Uh, <sighs> Since we went to a boss, I think maybe it's best to get some more dexterity so we have a little bit of better attack. 15 dexterity is not too bad. Uh, this boss could be trouble. He's weak to slash, which is good, and we have we think he can be poisoned, which is very good. <laughs> but first, let's demonstrate how this poison works on this fucker right here. He might not be poisoned because he's a... He might not get poisoned. Because, yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah, he probably doesn't get poisoned. He's a poison guy, so never mind. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and get more Wraith Fangs. <laughs> and we won't fight that guy again. Hidden treasure chest, thank you. Leather shit and a gray pearl. Now, gray pearls, unlike black pearls, which give you a skill point, gray pearls take away a... Uh, it, this is really cool, actually. It takes away something that you already put in, but it doesn't disconnect the lines you already made. So basically it gives you a free level up if you strategically use it. So we're never gonna use bows. So, and you get rid of only, you can't get rid of yellow things. So if we get rid of the bow with a gray pearl, we get a level up free 
and we don't when all of our connections are still there it's pretty pretty cool it, it max it's kind of min maxing your your equipment so with that we can now get another dexterity for a little bit more hit point or a little bit more attack there we go all right now we're doing good we're gonna skip this ogre this time and head straight for the boss Oh, lock of hair, thanks. And like I said, this shows like the most previous player that got there and they died. So here you might see a candle lit this time. Yeah, see, I, I knew that that's what it was. So there's three candles lit. So that means three out of ten people ha in, in the past like recent thing have, have made it. So yeah, there's a lot of poison ahead, that's for sure. But I, I also have poison. So we're going to see how this works. Ooh, could be trouble, guys. I don't know. Let's fight the next boss. Here we go. Okay, that was pretty fucking sweet. <laughs> uh, that was the easiest I ever had on that boss. That was sweet. He just literally drowned in poison. <laughs> that was really, really cool. And I like that. They just give you a black pearl as a separate entity item there, not just a level up. So it's like, it's just little things like here, just have a free level up in case you had some trouble there. You know, it's cool. And we got the mossy key, which... Basically, it's just it was just to gate the player, so you had to go up here and fight this guy. I like the boss arena. It's just kind of a little treetop little section here. It's cool. Um, he can be really hard, to be honest. So I think I'm going to be a little cocky, and we're going to fight this bastard. Maybe get uh, the thingy. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's dangerous because you can roll into the poison because your instinct is to roll past it. Because he's going to attack you and you roll right into his lingering poison. That, that's pretty bad. Alright. Really cool move set. That's a heavy move right there. And I don't know if it's shown you this one because it's hard to use, but check this out. Yeah, that, you can't tell me that's pretty fucking sweet. Actually, this is the coolest move set of the game I've seen so far is daggers. And in combination with the pistol. I'm pretty sure you can do some cool stuff with the pistol and the dagger, like backstepping and stuff. But uh, I haven't seen that. Um, pretty satisfied with that progress. And Wraith Fangs are amazing. They, and what's cool is that you can keep stacking it as they're poisoned, and the poison just gets more potent, and the, and the timer keeps increasing. Pretty cool. Alright, level up, man. Level up like crazy. So lastly, let's talk to the Alchemist. And what he can do is transmute. And he can transmute any of your base weapons... Because really, you only get like one, like the great sword, that great sword that I found that says the claymore. That's the only great sword that you can find, just laying around. Then you can transmute it to other things and switch around. So the dirk, I can get a cut per shiv, which has less dexterity scaling, but it does more damage, and that's a lot more damage. It's more important. So you need a skull bat wing and a silver leaf, which we have. And the other thing is our. We can't even do the pistol. It only shows up if you have the ability to do so. Okay, a lot of explanation, like I said, but, you know, don't want to be too confused here. The key is back outside. Yes, it is. Mossy key. All right, that was a pretty obvious key door, unlike what I said before. And again, pretty creepy. And you might want to think you want to use your torch, which actually is a good idea, because I still have fast roll, because torches don't weigh anything. Because there's an ambush down here. We got uh, alien versus predator aliens here, it looks like. 
And they're pretty dangerous, and they can jump on you and maul you to death, and they're, they're, their strength is in their numbers. And I forgot, see, I hate that. I don't know what item I just got. It just, it, things go through too quick. I can't, oh, a soldier's poem. We can upgrade the dagger again. Uh, do that next time I see a blacksmith, I guess. So I do believe we want to go here. What I like is a little bit of a uh, non-linear exploration here. We can head down here, and this actually leads to the next boss. But we can go to see. There you go. But we can also go to the next boss, the opposite direction, which is what we'll do. So we're a little bit more prepared. What does the crystal mo reading have? The effects of focus. Okay, none of that is useful to us. And over here, whoa, that was close. That was a weird spin. Back to the watching woods, and I don't think there's anything we want over here. Don't think so. All right, and having an extra reach with that dagger probably does help. We might not see it, and it might make more sense to get more damage, because we could actually be, oh yeah, I'd rather have a little bit more damage with how fast my DPS is, because I get close to enemies anyway. Speaking of, see how they just kind of appear out of nowhere, they materialize? And this fucking ladder shit, this makes me mad. When you go past this, like, sometimes it makes you start climbing up. Like, I don't know how you make it not do that unless you, like, roll through it. Kind of annoying. If I recall correctly, this is just a Warhammer. This is the only Warhammer in the game. And you use that to transmute to other Warhammers. Like I said, that's kind of like tease. That's, if you want to do two-handed Warhammers, that's the only chance you really get. But that's okay. Alright, yeah, you can't stop us. I know your games. And more importantly, Sanctuary. And we can claim our Sanctuary for our own, which means we can go ahead and get another Stone Root Creed, which means we get our Wraith Fangs when we rest here. So you, now I think you understand that concept now. Of course, no one's here unless I make an offering. So we do have the Blacksmith. I don't want to waste a Blacksmith here. They are limited items. And this is a stupid place to have one, so we're not going to do that. But what's cool is that, like, the background changes into your creed. Like, everybody has different creeds. So Devara's Light was, like, the water pouring out of the goddess and stuff, so it's neat. And over here we have the Link of Fire in Sky, which is a weird mechanic for mages. Basically, a mage, there's two magic types, fire and sky. Lightning and fire, if you will. When you cast a lightning spell, it causes elemental imbalance, which is a meter that rises on the left towards lightning. If it fills up, you take damage that, that would have filled the meter otherwise, which is bad. And it happens the other way too. If you alternate, you will never have this problem. So that ring makes it so it doesn't happen. So that's, that's, that's but it also wastes the ring slot. So there is strategic value to, to all of that. It's kind of neat. Oh, they're quick. Oh, they're quick. But they are weak, so that's good. They're quick, but they're weak. Okay. Yep. Downright ambush. Thank you. I appreciate you telling me. <laughs> Indeed! Well, a gun would have helped here with the area effect damage, but... Oh, what can you do? All right, um, before we go down there, I think we're ready to fight another boss, actually. And that would probably conclude this part. I think that would be a good way to do it, yeah. See, this is cool, though. Before so, what's over here? Ah, uh, Hager Hogger's Cavern. Not going here for a while, and this is one of my least favorite areas of the game, just due to the annoyance of the enemies, but we'll go there much later. All right, three out of 10 candles. And what I like is that sometimes you can see the enemy, the boss, kind of like idling sit there. It's kind of a cool effect. And like, and also, it's not just people like like hanging like that. You can see them like like impaled, their heads decapitated. It's kind of cool. It's different aspects of it. So I don't know if this guy can get poisoned, but we're going to find out. <laughs> Here we go. Next boss.
Green key and a Kraken's Cyclops horn. And look, see? Linked right back. Yeah. Um, don't worry. You can't cheese every boss with poison because a lot of bosses have extreme poison resistance, which, though, you can still poison them, and it would take just a lot of Wraith Fangs. However, that's pretty cool. And if they give me the ability to do that, I am going to do it. <laughs> so, very nice. That was pretty cool. I It is nice to be able to do that. And that's my reward for joining the Stone Roots, man. Sorry. <laughs> All right, level up and increase that endurance more. And yes, you're right. See how you get Wraith, Fang, uh, Wraith Fang now? And like I said, you get red grass instead of the red water of life or whatever. It's your healing item changes. And a lot of times it's just aesthetics. It's just theme. It's, it's, it's neat. I, I like that. All right. Let's, uh, let's play the endurance game again here. And like I said, yeah, I could go naked, but I, I just, I don't, I like having my character actually look like what they would do in real life, which is have clothes. <laughs> All right. Um, pretty good here. We're going to head to a little section over here that I didn't want to risk in case I would die. But now we're going to go there. So let's do it. Oh, get off me, get off me. No, 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 fuck. See, that's why I didn't go down here first. That's why I didn't go down here first. Fucking guy's harder than the boss. Okay, got my salt back. Everybody's dead. <laughs> we're happy. So this bullshit right here, luckily we're not going to experience it because I didn't trigger the guy, but... Oh my god, what a fucking reach. Guy sucks so hard. These guys suck. Alien versus Predator aliens. <laughs> what else to call them? This guy, what he does is he will make a protective and vulnerability barrier on an enemy that's close to him. And it's like a little tractor beam. That's like, so it's like a distance, kind of like uh, a distance modifier. But it, and he's also floaty as fuck. Fucking annoying piece of shit. There you go. How about that? Shoot you down. But I just want to go over here to get some stuff. I don't know if there's anything important, but. See, here we go. Let's kill him quick. I can't fight these guys until he's dead, so... And I don't have any guns left, so this is gonna be... I have to be able to fucking hit this guy. Wow, this is annoying. <laughs> oh, wait, what am I doing? I got Wraith Fangs. Jesus. Yeah, take that. <laughs> I forgot I can use Wraith Fangs on regular enemies. Gotta remember that. There he goes. Look at that poison. Wow, that's pretty vicious. Yeah, I think Wraith Fangs actually have the highest potency in terms of poison, so that's cool. Is this worth it? Stone Mage? No, wasn't worth it, but I got Red Shard, which is passive healing. All right, let's get back to that Sanctuary. Ah, okay, and we can level up some more. Should be very, very close to getting our Endurance to max since we take off our pants, we can fast roll with the gun. So... Like I said, it's very important. You, you, I mean, I know I keep running, running my mouth about it, but you have no idea how important it is to have endurance for the n next after boss. It's a terrible way of uh, forming that sentence, but here we go. That might be enough. Boy, it's annoying. To, see, I, I have freaking 18 endurance. You've got to pump so much, but as you can see, fast roll was really nice. Still can't do it, even with the gloves off. Fuck you. I've got to be close. 16 out of 60. Yeah, that's got to be close. I have to figure out how close, but let's put my gloves back on. I'm not going to use my pistol right now. So, all right, guys. Um, we're going to head to the next boss and start the next area next time. See you guys later.